Farm Guy here, and this, this is the Steiger Tiger 4 KP-525 slash Case IH 9190 Hunt Farming Simulator 22. This is by uh, Blog2003. Uh, 14.11 megabytes to download a slot count. I uh, forgot to check the slot count. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to sell these and sell that. Oops. Sell that. And let's go find it in vehicles and large tractors and we'll buy one. Exciting. So here it is. Uh, here it is, the, the, the Steiger Tiger and Case IH, $140,000 to purchase. Now, a little bit of a history on this. Uh, this these models we uh, were made between uh, 1984 and 1987, so not as old as me, but definitely a classic. Uh, something about nearly 40 years old. Farm Dog Max is excited about this one. 525 horsepower, manual transmission, 1,457 liters of fuel. You're going to need, well, they needed all of that too. 15 mile per hour and 21.6 tons. 13 slots on console, only 13 slots on console. So, uh, we have a few options, not a lot. So, it's a fairly simple and basic um, model the tiger model here as you can see looks very nice we have this the tiger or the case so these are your basically design and color options right so tire options wheel brands lizard trailborg michelin bkt nokian vertestein and lizard in lizard these are big tires twins or standard 500 bucks for the twin wheels in Trelleborg. Standard twins. Tw standard two, twins two. Standard three, twins three. Four and four. Those look nice. And back to standard. So 500 bucks for those. We have Michelin twin wheels, which looks very nice. I think that suits it very nicely. That's my kind of pick. And then Twin Wheels 2, which is actually triples. And then Twin, so Twin Wheels 2, that's Michelin, that's triples. Those are big, <laughs> or wide, shall we say. BKT, uh, we have Standard Twins, Standard 2, Twin Wheels 2. And Nokian, we have Standard and Twin Twin Nokian tires. We're seeing this a little bit more often, I think. I do like it. Looks very good. Vertestein, uh, standard twin, twin, standard two, twin two, and then back to lizard. Oversized sign, yes or no, that puts it on the front. I do believe, oh, and there's a little one on the back. Let's just see. Yeah, it's the same with either the, the, the bright green Steiger or the case. Beacon, yes or no, we can put a beacon on the top. Glass is standard or strong, as in tinted. And a license plate, and that is all your options. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, let's try the Nokian twin wheels. There we go. So a couple of uh, notable omissions. Let's buy that. Start it up. Very nice. Let's get our help window on. There we go. R1 and horn. Uh, interior. Uh, nice moving parts and stuff like that. Signals. We have signal lights. Dashboard looks very good. I don't know how these things looked originally. Kind of, oh, the seat. Look at the seat. It's moving reverse we have the uh, shifter knob there so I don't know if this is um, authentic perhaps uh, a good friend of the channel dirt farmer might know <laughs> but uh, outside this is what it looks like <coughs> uh, 15 mile per hour top speed so it it it's um 
it's a manual transmission, but it shifts along pretty nicely. It works quite well, I think. Lights, we have the old, uh, the mellow yellow lights. <laughs> so we have that. Very nicely, um, very nicely modeled. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna switch it up to the, uh, the green, just so you can see the green one, the green machine. There we go. And it is bright green for sure. Uh, so beacon, there we go. Signals. No signals on the front. We have... Oh, there we go. Top. Top of the cab. There we go. Signals up there. <laughs> Was looking a little bit lower for that. So the shifting, yes, the shift. Uh, I use automatic transmission and it shifts quite well in automatic. Sometimes some of these tractors do not shift too well in auto. So emissions, no three point link on the rear, no weight additions anywhere, front or wheel weights or anything like that. Um, it is pretty basic as far as big tractors go, but 525 horsepower, is pretty uh, pretty good for an old tractor uh, of this vintage now we have a 500 horsepower uh, cultivator attached here and if we hire a worker which i must say the worker did like using this had no problems with it here we see it's uh, working its way through the gears and it seems to settle itself in uh, high one range in six gear, nine miles per hour, very nice. And uh, got up there quickly, no, no fuss, no muss. Oh, it has the little S emblem on the steering wheel. It's hard to see a little bit, not as much, not as bright as the case, but uh, there it is. So interior on the Steiger. Has a little Steiger emblem on the top right corner there of the cab. Very nice. I'm gonna watch it from the outside, turn around. So all in all, it's a pretty nice uh, old vintage tractor. Has a little bit of a wiggle backing up, but it's not too bad. It's not overly annoying. It doesn't take uh, a lot of time maneuvering or anything like that. Workers seem pretty efficient with it. So I wouldn't have any worries about using this um, on my farm, even with workers. It seems to work quite well. And there we go. So again, first, second gear, third gear, fourth, fourth gear. There we go. High two in fourth gear. That's where it's decided to settle down now. So either way, it seems to work quite well. We will fire the worker there disconnect oops disconnect that and there we go so I'm very pleased with the transmission it works very well and the colors and design is nice it's a nice simple tractor it's very nice design a nice well it's a vintage style tractor it looks like it's very um, well it's represented the um, the model quite well, I think, even though I don't have any intimate knowledge of these particular tractors. But there you have it. That's the Steiger Tiger 4 KP-525 in the case IH-9190 by Blog2003. 14.11 megabytes to download and uh, 13 slots on console, so very nice. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember... It's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.